My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. Something we got to work on. I think... I do feel like I'm falling for it a lot. Yeah, and I think the reason is you reach, and I think to some degree, if we can get your arms to hang more underneath your shoulders, pay attention on purpose to where your weight's distributed heel to toe. Mm -hmm. uh, Try to get it more underneath the middle of your arches. Um, you do keep your your head really pretty still, but I just think that that looks yeah. just a little too much like you're reaching for it. And your hands get a, a little bit outside where they should coming down. Right. See, the hands are too far away. Yeah. I'm going to change that with a different different backswing position. So the hands are pretty high there. Here's a address. Here's impact. So your impact position, you see where your hands are. There's your address position. So the way we're going to change that is your line of acceleration. You get a little bit too much early rotation out of your trunk. Right. You know, and so I want you to feel like your back stays to the target a little bit longer. Um, and again, you're going to practice this and not think about it when you play. Mm -hmm. But but other than that, I mean, I have to look at the face on view. I don't really see anything that's glaringly obvious other than what I already pointed out here in the video, and that is the pelvis does tend to thrust right. forward. forward. And that, that what that does is that that crams your arms up because if, if your pelvis moves four inches forward, right. that moves your hands four inches forward. Right. And so now you have to make some sort of compensation with your arms. Right. So, um, the hands, I'd like to drop those down. So, like, I'd like to see your hands a little more where his hands are at the top. Mm -hmm. So, if I said to you, Think of a wall here. And let's say your rear end was right against the wall. I would like you to feel like your hands are touching the back wall. Right. So essentially, I'm trying to get your hands further behind your, your head, a little more behind your right shoulder. Now, how do I know? Well, if I drop a line straight down, right. his, hands his, his hands are behind his, his heels. Right. Yeah, so that's sort of what I'd like to do with you in the... Uh, I'd like you to feel like your left arm is more up against your left, left pectoral and sort of pinned against your left, your chest, you know, and your hands are deeper. Yeah, exactly. And that, that will bring you down on a different plane. Um, so that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to get a little, you to get closer to the ball, Alex. I, I think that that's a problem.
everything I'm telling you right now mm -hmm. uh, is being recorded, and I don't really see this as being that hard of a. We did change your grip. I don't think any of this is going to be that difficult for you to change. One of the exercises I'll show you is you're going to stand with your rear end against the wall and try to touch the back wall. The other exercise you're going to put your left heel right against the uh, a garage door jam. The, the garage would be here and you're going to swing back and not hit the door. I'll show